Good evening, Lexbots. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the Emerald Queen, which is clearly inspired by Oz. Or if you're a Zelda fan by Rupees, you know, whatever. All products that you say are listed somewhere around the video. So don't forget to check me out on other social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by making my face extremely pale with a very light foundation. Apply primer to both of your eyelids. And then filling in my eyebrows using my own brand of liquid eyeliner, which is coming out this year. And I'm making them thinner and higher than usual. I'm then taking my double-ended brush and white eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics and applying it to my lid and underneath my eyebrows. My sass brows. They're highly arched. Means you got sass. I'm then applying a lime green eyeshadow from BH Cosmetics and blending this along my crease as well as on the sides of my nose. The darker green shadow to the inner part of your eyes as well as the outer part. I'm also blending the lime green shadow underneath my eyes. As well as blending some of that dark green. Once again, I'm using the same lime green eyeshadow. No idea why lime green did not sound like a word. And I'm blending that out underneath my cheekbones and we'll also be using this as my contour color from pretty much everywhere on my face. I'm also not putting my eyeliner on until later on because it would be a miracle if I could get sclera lenses in and not mess up my eyes. In my opinion, the emeralds are one of the best parts of this makeup. Maybe it's just because I've been wanting to do emeralds for a while. Using a fine artist brush and lime green body paint to start the base of all emeralds. Using a dark green body paint, I'm then making this look more three-dimensional. For half of the lines, I used dark green body paint, and then the other half, I used regular green. Now, because the highlighting and shading on these emeralds is more like to the eye of what you see, I'm just going to explain that I used light green, dark green, regular green, and white to highlight and shade these emeralds. I tried to keep the shading more concentrated on one side and the light concentrated on the other side as if the light source is coming from the bottom, the top, and just generally reflecting all over. A lot of times when you guys look into a crystal, a lot of the shapes that you see are triangles, so I also try to stick with that as well. I'm then adding two smaller additional emeralds to my forehead in more of a diamond shape, but still shading the same way. Taking my double-ended brush, I'm going back to the lime green eyeshadow and just shading around my forehead and around the emeralds. I'm also darkening up some of the contoured areas using a dark green eyeshadow. Break the chain that's holding the jewels on, I'm using yellow body paint and a fine artist brush. I'm then also doing a second chain using gold body paint. I'm then shading underneath the chain very lightly using gray eyeshadow. And because the chain is very close to my forehead, if it, you know, were actually on, I'm shading very close to the jewelry itself. With my lips being emeralds as well, I'm starting them off the exact same way using lime green body paint, and then shading them with the various different shades of green. I wanted this character to have a little bit of like elegance to it. So I'm using olive green body paint and a foundation brush to create my neck corset thing. I also want this area to look like somewhat vintage, so I'm also going in with green body paint and highlighting the entire area. Where the areas of this piece is sewn together, I'm using dark green eyeshadow to shade. I'm then shading even further using black eyeshadow. Be sure to shade one side of this darker than the other side. Using black body paint, I'm officially dividing up where these things are sewn together as well as giving it some really dark vintage looking shading. All of the lace trim on this is super, super simple and it's just using a fine detail brush as well as black body paint and just literally drawing loops. I'm doing this down the center as well as the entire edge. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm using dark green eyeshadow and just drawing a pattern in it. 
I'm then adding several emeralds to my chest. These will eventually be connected with chains and I'm literally doing these the exact same way as I did the ones on my forehead. Use various shades of green to shade these emeralds. You could also really do this with eyeshadow and not have to use body paint. And just make sure you have a good breakup of highlights and shadows because when light hits these things, they're going to be, you know, shiny. Obviously not when they're painted on, but we're picturing that light is hitting them and making them shiny. Just like my face, I'm starting off with a chain using yellow body paint and a fine artist brush. Now some of the emeralds that are hanging lower actually connect to the first row of emeralds. And then once again going in with gold body paint. Just like the other chains, I'm sure you guys are noticing a pattern by now. Also adding a little bit of shading using gray eyeshadow underneath the chains, but this time I'm making it a little bit further away from the chain itself. pop my scleras in and I'm heavily lining my eyes with thick liner. To darken up my eyes a little bit, I'm adding some black eyeshadow underneath as well as on the inner corner of my eyes. And of course, add some fake eyelashes if you wish. 